Valentine's Day is getting closer, <gasps> which is why I'm going to show how to make your very own Be Mine book art for Valentine's Day. Start by downloading your own free Be Mine template from the link in the description. Here's a simple hack. If you want to have a different word in the heart, simply print out any word of your choice. Make sure it fits and stick it in the heart. Select the paper ruler that suits the book you want to use. I want to use this book that has 300 pages, so I'm choosing the paper ruler that suits. Two things you need to remember. The paper ruler for 300 pages has the number of 150, because a 300 page book uses 150 pieces of paper. Secondly, don't use your Valentine's favourite book for this project. It might make them angry. <clears throat> Next, align the template in the book. Do you want it up high or down low? Once you're happy, fold the template over the top of the book page. This ensures the template sits at the same height on every page. For this style of book art, every page is folded in before you cut it. Start by folding the first page in. Depending on the size of the book, I normally fold it in about 4 centimeters or a bit less than 2 inches. Wherever you fold it to, draw a dot at the bottom of the page, where the corner now is, and use a ruler to draw this line across the whole book. That way, from now on, you just need to fold each page up to that line. Note that the first seven pages are in front of the heart design on the template. These pages are just folded, we don't cut these ones, which makes a nice border at the start and end of the heart. Repeat this process to fold in the first seven pages. When you get to the eighth line on the ruler, it's time to start cutting the heart design. After you've folded in the page like normal, align the template under the page that you just folded, ensuring that the top of the template is lined up with the book. Draw a line wherever the heart design touches the page. These are the lines that you need to cut. <laughs> cut the page along the folded over part only. Don't cut all the way to the spine, that would be too far. After you've cut the lines, you're left with this flap. Fold the flap in a further two centimeters. That's what makes this lovely push-in effect for the heart shape. I like to make a little piece of card that I cut to size to show exactly how far I need to push the pages in from now on. For the rest of the design, simply repeat these steps. When you get to the words, Simply mark where each word touches the page and cut those as flaps as well. Any part with words just needs more flaps. These parts are folded in further than everything else to create a contrast. I add another mark to the little piece of card to show how far to fold these parts in. Once the heart and words are complete, it's time to add some colour. I'm going to use red paper to colour the words in blue. Ah, uh, red, to colour them red. Cut one centimetre wide strips of your coloured paper. I just used a paper slicer and glue it in under these parts of the page, but over the flaps that make the words. I glued the card under the flaps that make the heart but it's glued over the flaps that make the letters. 
That way the red paper shows through wherever the letters are pushed in. After doing this for all of the words, I still thought it looked a bit thin, so I went back through and added a second layer to each word. You can choose to Mod Podge some suitably patterned fabric to the cover. And then you're finished. Unless, of course, you want your Valentine's Day book art to be a bit spookier. <laughs> Check out this video to see how I turned this into an anti-Valentine's Day gift. <laughs> <laughs>